I, 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 I. Okay, here's Yo. the attic. I've got my ladder all set up. It's a pain working with these little giant ladders, but you know, a, a regular six foot ladder around the house just wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have been able to get up on the roof. I wouldn't have been able to get up in here. I wouldn't be able to replace uh, batteries on smoke detectors and all that kind of good stuff. So even though they're heavy, they come in handy. And I needed to show you how to check this out, but you know, I need some light up in there. Really? <laughs> My mother gave me this flashlight. Here's another one. Hardly any light coming out of these flashlights, I tell you. No, no batteries around. Well, she got these from a little expo show. Look at, see this little light? That thing is pretty bright. And a good thing, I've got two of them. Okay? So, there you go. I'm gonna go up there with this light and I'm taking you along with me and we're gonna check this out and that's all the light I've got. Had I not had these two little lights, I would have run the extension cord and drugged my construction light up there, okay? But we're, gonna, we're doing things on the fly. I don't wanna spend too much time on here. This is the morning. I don't want it to get too hot and all that kind of stuff, okay? So up in the attic we go. I'm in the abyss. And see, here's a, here's a light switch. And sometimes your electrician or your house might have one of these. Look, it looks that somebody snapped off the cover a little bit. I might have to take a mental note and replace that because the, air, the heating system is up in here. And they even have a nice little catwalk for us. Here's a, Here's a, here's a piece of plywood here down for us. And then there's some plywood up in here, a rat bait trap because there might be some rats up here. So kind of take a quick look about your surrounding and see, there's a light there. I'm gonna turn the light switch off and that goes off. And that's kind of a slick thing. If you don't have something like that in your attic, you might wanna, you might wanna tap in and put a light switch in and put a light up there. And, you know, if you're gonna go that far, you might wanna put electrical outlet up there too in case you need to run a drill, a flashlight, trouble light, whatever. And there might be a plug up there, but I'm, I'm taking up these little battery flashlights anyway, anyways, and uh, I'm gonna see if I got enough light. Take a mental note of where your crawl hole is and get lined up and, you know, kind of walk down the, the hallway, kind of visualize yourself where this, crawl hole is so you don't get turned around up here because it's very easy to get turned around up in an attic okay and at first off I see that they're all trusses everything like this they're all put together and they all continue down here and hit a rail every two feet there's a rail down here through the insulation you think my word where am I supposed to step that's where we're gonna step when we get off of this this uh, platform up here okay stick with me I know it's not very light up here but away we go I'm I'm close to the crawl hole and I made a mental note if I keep going this way I go all the way down here I'm in the uh, the dining area and to the left of that is going to be the kitchen so I know I've got to go straight over there somehow through all of this abyss off to the left where the kitchen area is okay get your bearings and think about it and go slow and hang on. Hey, this will be a good test for my HD camcorder. It's supposed to do good in low levels of light. This is just my little, my little flashlight here. And I'm at the right can. Here's what your can's gonna look like and I pulled the insulation back, and the good news so far is this is blowing insulation and it's all dry. I was fearing that this whole area was gonna be all wet and saturated. I pulled the, the blow-in insulation around and off our project area, and I'm looking around here, and you have to kind of take a mental note. I remembered it was dripping more so here than on the other side, 
shining my flashlight on the other side, I don't see much. I see a nice little black area here, or a little darker discolored area. And it looks like that's where it started dripping, right here. And I can see that the, that the backing of the sheetrock paper is bubbled and rippled right there. And see, that's where it was dripping from up on the roof. It was hitting there, and then it was running that direction over to the light fixture, and it went out. It always tries to find the closest out area. And if there was a seam in the sheetrock, can you see if there was a sheet, seam between two pieces of sheetrock, that would have fit into the sheam, uh, seam, and it would have started lifting the tape on the sheetrock ceiling. So I'm glad that didn't happen. Okay, I looked over here, and this is dry. Around there is dry, and it doesn't look as bad as I first thought. And I'm glad I got up here. I still am not sure where it's leaking up on the roof, but I'm gonna leave this kind of back like this just in case it rains again, let's say. Another thing you could do is you could, you could if you pinpoint where it's leaking, you could put something up here. Maybe we could put a, a small little bucket to catch the water because there wasn't that much water, you know? And you could do that until you get a roofer out or until you figure out how to get the roof fixed. You can try to fix the roof a couple different areas where you think it is. Next time it rains, maybe it's still leaking and you still got your bucket here and you go back up. And the second time you do any imaginable areas up there with hot tar, not hot tar, but just tar out of a bucket or something or caulking, whatever, and you finally get it. And that's something you could do too. And then afterwards you're gonna have to come back up here and straighten all the blow-in insulation again because this is what gets you gets you your insulation factor is this stuff here so I I want to make sure to put all this back uh, after we get the the roof fixed okay yeah now I've got to look up on the ceiling and see if I can figure out what's going on I'm not sure if I can but at least the main thing is I know that if it leaks again, all my insulation is dry, it's not matted up, and I can tell that the water is dripping at one point next to the can light. Remember I thought it was, might be coming over from this left-hand area up against the wall or something coming this way. If it would have, I would see a discoloration like this all the way over to the left here, and then I would pull this insulation back. But see, it's all, it's all dry over further okay right in here it's dry you see ah okay <laughs> right in here it's dry I don't see any any little discoloration like i do over there okay at least that's the first thing that we gotta figure out and it's done Even if you got a roofer here, he's going to have to go through all these same steps. So maybe you can just find it yourself. We go right up here, and this is straight above the, uh, the leak area. And I'm not really seeing anything right there. And like I say, it could be, it could be leaking up this way, running down the edge of, of one of these rafters. See? See how this rafter keeps continuing up there? It could be leaking way up there running down and then drip 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 but i know it would have to be coming off of this rafter here don't i if it was coming off that rafter because right at that point kaboom that's where the leak is or it could be running off this edge or it could just be running right through the roof and it could be right where the right where the nails are you know it could be something as simple as that well that's not really simple is it you know, how would you fix something like that? But um, it looks like the roof is actually in pretty good condition here. And like I say, it's only maybe a 13, 14 year old roof and such. Okay, so it's just a little tricky. I think I'm gonna have to go back up on the roof and look at it a little bit more closely. I mean, it, it's just one little pinhole. It could be one little pinhole. It's like finding a needle in the haystack. But at least I've done my due diligence and I've 
crawled all the way back here. I've pleased mother out. I can give her a little report and then we can decide what to do here. I might put a little bucket right down here and next time it rains, maybe I don't do anything until next time it rains. It's supposed to rain mid this week in a couple days and I could shimmy back up in here with the flashlight and then do a little bit more probing, get my construction light back here because it could be on the back side of this rafter. And I actually, I actually looked on that. And see, here's the, here's the back side of that rafter. And because it's only been leaking this first time, I'm not going to see big, huge marks on the side of the beam. Let's say if it's running down the side of a rafter or something, I don't see any uh, markings, residues of water stain or discoloration in the wood. Okay. And so because this is a fresh leak, uh, next time it rains, I may just have to come up here and at least I'll know where it's dripping out. Whether it's here, it could be way up here, you know? And that's what I'm hoping to find, something like that. And then water maybe running down the side of a rafter over to here and then drip, 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 drip. And it could be just right in the middle of the, of the paneling, you know, the roofing material. And it could just be leaking up there and running right down the middle. It might not even be next to a rafter. And just, I can see the line and then it drips off of there. It, it's funny how, how water works. You know what I mean? And so a little bit more investigating I think I'll have to do next time it rains so I can figure this out. Well, time to get back out of here. Now, which way was it? Oh, over there. Uh, one last thing, if you ask, hey, how did you know it was that light and not this can here? Well, I looked through this can a little bit, but once I located this can, I knew that other lights were going to be three feet one direction to the right or to the left. I went over here, found this one, and you see that light that's coming up around the, the light fixture? That's because we took the trim off, remember? And so that's why I started digging down there, and that's where I found the leak and all that, okay? Think about your project and check her out. I don't have much of a battery left or anything, but on a truss, a truss is all kinds of two by fours at angles and stuff all connected together. Well, wherever you see one of those, you know there's a, there's a ceiling joist straight down below that. So every two feet where you see one of these trusses, you know you can put your feet on there. See, I'm gonna have to kind of shimmy on these angled truss bits. And then here's a wall, there's a wall over there I can step on. And just be real ginger about it, hang on. And the last thing you wanna do is put your foot through the ceiling. Now you've got another repair to do, okay? Just take it easy, you'll get her. Whew. Wow, civilization at last. And when you're up here, I got a back brace on, I've got some gloves on. You might want to have a dust mask on, and I've got a short sleeve shirt on, but you could wear a long sleeve shirt, a bandana, uh, you know, anything to keep this insulation off of you in spider webs and cobwebs and all that kind of stuff. Okay, hey, look at that. There's my crawl hole, and that's good because I was just about ready to go somewhere else and you know what since I'm right here I'm gonna look around and see if there's an electrical outlet so next time I'm up here I can see if I can run my extension cord I see there's nothing there and look at that that's where they've got they've got part of their heating system air conditioning system hooked in right there and they've got it plugged right in there and let's see if that's a duplex outlet. Let's see here. Sh uh, yeah, it is. Okay, good. So I can bring my extension cord up here next time. Run my trouble light, get you lots more light. You know, for next time I come here to see if I can't locate that leak. Okay, that's it for now, I guess. Don't forget to turn the light off. 
That's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.